What makes me sad? By Heidi and Daniel Haworth. Little polar bear had never seen snow before. He had felt it beneath his paws, felt it might melt at the end of his nose. Felt it cold on his tongue, but he had never seen it. He was born surrounded by snow, in a snug, dark den, and now it was time to leave. His mom ducked with a powerful paws, and a bright light flooded in. Little polar bear squinted. This light was so bright. All around, in every direction, it was white and through blurry eyes. It was ever so bright. It felt strange to be outside. His tummy felt nervous. His paws felt wobbly, and this snow was slippery. He loved his warm dark den, and he was very sad to be leaving it. Why can't we stay here? He asked Mummy Bear. We need food, said Mummy Bear, smiling. And there is not a lot here. Little Bear looked all around him. Mummy Bear was right. There was nothing to eat. Everywhere he looked, there was snow. There was no food. So they started to walk. The sun was high in the sky. They walked and walked and walked. When the sun finally dipped low enough in the sky to look like it touched the ground. They stopped. Are we there yet? Asked Little Bear. No, replied Mummy Bear. We still have a long way to go. That night, as Little Bear curled up close into Mummy's Mummy Bear's warm, soft fur, he felt something again. Something deep in his tummy. He missed the cave. He missed the warmth and the safety. This day had been cold, hard, and long. He really wanted to just go back home to his warm, dark, and snowy den. He stared at the bright moon in the sky, and soon his eyelids felt heavy, and he managed to fall asleep. As they got nearer to the sea, the packed ice got thinner and thinner. Be careful, warned Mummy Bear. It is dangerous here. The ice is thin. But if we fall through, it will be difficult to get out or to swim. She tried one more paw, but the ice was cracking. Little Bear was very worried. Mummy Bear smiled a kind smile. Watch me, she said. Instead of placing her great big paw on the ice and causing more cracks, she slid onto her belly. What are you doing, Mummy? Asked Little Bear. 
laughing. You look funny. I am spreading my weight, replied Mommy Bear. Try it; it's fun. And so Little Bear did it. He spread his weight on the ice. Mommy Bear was right; it was fun. The ice was now thicker again. Little Bear was so hungry now; his tummy growled. Is it always so hard, Mummy? He asked. Hmm. His mom looked very thoughtful for some time before answering. There was a time when the ice stayed thick and strong. There were many seals to hunt and eat, but the air is warmer now. We have to travel further to find food. Our world is changing, so we have to do what we can to survive in it. When I looked at you, I know we still have a future. She smiled. But her eyes were very sad, though. There is one thing that still fills me with joy, though. And she smiled her warmest smile. She opened her paws as wide as she could. Nothing makes me happier than a bear hug with my wonderful cub. The end.